47 of this course so in this video we are going to be building this navigation by just using html css and javascript so now here you can see currently our navigation color is black so now if i just scroll down it will now change its color to white right here okay so this is what we are going to be building in this video by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code hi right, guys so welcome to the project 47 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a sticky navbar by just using html css and javascript so to do that first of all we have to create a folder and we're going to give them some sort of name like 47 and then sticky navbar and inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just write style.css and the third one will be app.js okay so now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit clear all right, so here we are going to be writing our HTML, change the title to like sticky nav bar. And now let's just link it with our CSS and also with our JavaScript. So now let me just collapse this metadata from there and right click on it and open with a live server. All right, so that's that. So for HTML side of code, we are going to be first of all writing a nav with a class of nav. And inside this nav class, we are going to be creating a container, container, inside this container we're going to be just writing our h1 with a class of logo so first thing we would have is our logo right there and it will go to nowhere and here i'll just write a logo right here okay so underneath this div we are going to be writing i mean like underneath this h1 we are going to be writing our ul inside this ul we will have our li and inside this li we will have an anchor tag and we want them to be four of them so i'll just write four and it will go to nowhere and the first one i would just write like a home then about and then services and then finally i'm going to just write contacts or contacts to save it and now let me just zoom out a bit so this is about a navbar and now the next thing we would need is to just write our content okay so you can just write like uh, ul uh, then inside this ul we would have a line and then let me just write like uh, times i don't know like 200 and it will give you like something to scroll but that's not a great idea and i've decided to just create a simple ui for that so now let me just write there so now here i'm going to just write a div with a class of hero inside this div you're going to have our container and inside this container we have our h1 and i want to just give a name of like welcome to the real world okay and inside there we will have our paragraph with the class not a class but the text of lorem and that's going to be there so underneath this div we are going to be just writing like or div with the class of content content container inside this content container we will have our section with the class of content okay and now here we are going to be just writing like h1 of title one and now let's duplicate and paragraph of this lorem epsom okay so now that's that the next thing i would do is just duplicate this a few times so we have title one title two three and four okay so now let's just change these title to like this one will be the first one this one will be the second one this one will be just the third one and then this one fourth one and now yeah i guess that would be it okay so now once we save our file so this is how it looks like currently so now let's just uh, jump right into a css and style it but before we go into a css first of all let me show you all of the code so the first thing we have is this navigation right here inside this navigation we have this container and then inside this container we have this logo right here so outside from this logo we have this ul inside this ul we have this ally and each ally will have this anchor tag right here and we just throw like uh, home about services and contact and we just close our navigation so then you will have a hero area right here and we are going to be just placing like our container and we'll just say like welcome to the real world and then we have our content and then we have a content container inside this content container we have a section with a class of content and each of them will have a title and this content right here okay and we just duplicated like four times so this is how the ui will look like all right so that was it about html so now let's jump right into css and style it a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll select everything and box sizing will be border box margin will be zero and padding will be also zero okay so now the next thing i'll do is i'll just select my body change the font family to sans serif and color will be just two to two okay and padding um bottom i want to give him like 50 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now the next thing which i want to do is i'm going to select this container okay so both of these containers so i'll just give a class of this container max width will be like uh 1200 pixel 
and margin will be just zero and auto save it and now this is center the next thing which we have to do is to just select or nav right here so now let me just select this nav and here let me just write like a position of fixed rate and then the background color will be um background color will be just this two to two then we have a top will be zero and left will be zero right will be zero and then we have to just remove that and let's just provide a bit of transition to it like oh 0 0.3 seconds okay and it will be ease in and out it will be ht right all right so this is now how it looks like the next thing which you have to do is to select this container which is inside this nav clause so now let me just select there like nav and then container and now let me give them like a display of flex to it justify content will be space between not around but space between and then we have align items will be totally center padding i'm gonna give me like 20 pixel from top and bottom and left and right will be zero then we have a transition and it will be now set to is all 0 0.3 seconds and is in and out save our file and this is now currently looks like right here okay now the next thing that you have to do is to select each of this ul which is inside this nav Okay, so now let me just select there like nav and then we have a ul so now let's just write a display of flex on it align items will be center and justify corner will be also center and then we have a list style and it will be set to none save it and now this is right here and it's in line right now and we also remove this list style from it now the next thing which you have to do is to select each of this anchor which is inside this ul so now let me just do them so we have this nav and now let's just select anchor tag right here and then just change the color to totally white text decoration will be none because we want to remove this uh, ugly kind of border right here like text decoration and now let's just write like a padding will be just uh, 7 pixel from top and bottom and 15 pixel from left and right okay so now let's just provide a little bit of transition to him as well so like 0 0.3 three second is in and out seven and this is now how it looks like okay so we cannot see this content right here but because this is a position fix right now so now you will just see that in a second so now let's just write a classes for a java script okay so if we have like navigation and if this navigation is active so you want to just provide a background color let me just write a background color and it will be now set to totally white okay so this class will be for javascript and we are going to be changing that and now let's just write one more class for javascript so we are going to be writing like and if this nav is active and we want to select these anchors and color it will be just totally black okay so taken from this area now let me just write a separator from him and for him as well now let me just pass this separator right here so this class will be for javascript we are going to be changing there inside our javascript file okay so just remember that the next thing which you have to do is to select or hero area which is this here right here so now let me just select this hero and now let's just style that a bit so the first thing i'll do is i'll just provide a background color i mean like background image of some kind of image so now let me just search for unsplash and now not girls but just nature so if you just enter this nature it will now give us these images so now let me choose an image for this one okay so i guess which kind of image would be fine <laughs> i will definitely change these images so whenever you go to my github repository so these image will be changing but currently now i'm recording so that's why we have to just find some sort of image to work with so maybe i'm gonna go with this one and shout out to this girl or guy let me just zoom in a bit uh yeah he's a guy so shout out to this person for giving us this awesome image okay so it's not rendering art right. so now let's just right click on it and copy the image address okay so now let's just paste this image address right here and now let me just write a properties like background repeat will be no repeat and then we have a background size we want them to be cover background position will be bottom and come on man background position will be bottom and center okay and then we have to just give them a height of 100 vh color will be totally white display will be flex because we want everything to be center so that's why we are writing a justify corner of center align items of also center and text align will be equal to center we have a position of relative and we have a margin bottom 
and will be now set to 20 pixel and then we have a z index of minus 2 so once we save our file and now this is how our image will look like all right so here you can see we have this image so now let's just style this h1 and also these um what do we call it <laughs> these text right here all right so that's that so before getting into there first of all we have to select our before uh selector so now we have to just select our hero and i'll just write our before selector on it and the content will be nothing and position will be now equals to absolute top will be zero left will be zero now let's just write a width of 100 percent on it and height will be also 100 percent and then we have a background background of rgba 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.7 alpha transparency. 0, uh, not 0, but Z index will be now equal to minus 1. So once we save it, and here you can see we now added this um, background color on it. We can also provide a linear gradient right here, but I just want to add it like so. Now the next thing which you have to do is to select or uh, first heading right here, and which will be inside this uh, content container we have this content then we have this h1 right here so now let's just select that so we have the hero class and now we want to select the first h1 so font size will be just like uh, i don't know 46 pixel will be fine margin will be uh, minus 20 pixel zero and minus not minus but just plus 20 pixel okay so this is looking a bit better so now let's just type these is i'll just select my hero inside this hero we have this paragraph so you want to select all of these paragraph so font size will be just like 20 pixel and letter spacing we would have is like one pixel and max width will be like 700 pixel and then just write a line height of 30 pixel okay so let me just write this cell file and this is how it looks like i know it's ugly so now let me just um I remove some of these texts I guess I'll just remove it from there. And it's looking a bit <laughs> not exactly good, cool, but just a little bit good, I would say. Alright, so now that's there. So now the next thing which you have to do is to select our content container, which is this one. So now let me just select there. Content container and write a display of flex on it. Justify corner of center. Align items will be center. And then we have a height of 100 VH as well. Background uh color will be r g b and not a so 244 then we have a 242 and then we have a 242 one more time so this kind of like whitish uh creamy kind of color right here so once we save it okay so this is how it looks like right here okay so everything will be perfectly centered and this is how it looks like right now so now the next thing which you have to do is we have to select each of these content right here okay so like content one two and we have all of these section and all of these section will have this content class right here so now let me just select this content content and now here i'm going to write like max width of 600 pixel and now let's just write a margin of 20 pixel and then the background will be just rgb and it will be now set to like 230 and then 229 and now lastly 229 as well okay so now i want to just add a little bit of padding of 20 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's just style this title and also this paragraph right here okay so now let me just write like a content content inside this content we want to select this h2 so margin bottom will be 20 pixel and color will be just totally 444 cell file and this is how the title is looking like okay all right so the next thing i would do is i'll select this paragraph which is inside this each of these sections we want to select these paragraphs okay so now let's just write a content and cannot contain a content and now let's just sort of select our paragraph on family will be sans serif and line height will be just 24 pixel save it and this is how it looks like but you know what i'm gonna just remove some of these contents so first of all let me select all of them uh, so i'll just select the first one and hit ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d or command d and now let me just remove some of these texts like i don't know maybe i should go with these i'll just remove these last two lines save our file and now i guess it's looking a bit better so we were going to go with that or we can also just like uh just provide a margin bottom of a little bit more like 50 percent not percent 
so 20 pixels will be fine so i guess this is error i mean like we have something to work with right here so now we can scroll so that's a good sign so now let's jump right into a javascript and then just provide our interactivity to this site so the first thing i would need is i'll just write a const of nav and now let's just get or nav right here which is this nav let me just show you which is this nav right here so now we are getting there and the next thing which you have to do is to just uh, add event listener on the window so whenever we scroll so let me just add event listener of scroll so whenever we scroll so you want to call this function which will be fix nav okay so now you want to call this function so now let me just create this function so write a function with the name of fix nav and no parameter whatsoever and now here we are going to be checking if window dot scroll y and these are the properties on this windows is greater than nav dot off set height and we want to check like a 150 if window as scroll y axis is greater than this property so we want to just add like nav dot class list dot add and we want to add active class which we wrote right here um i've already did a class of javascript all right so here you can see we have this active class so the background color will be white and this uh color like the text color will be black so now let's just add that so now the next thing which you have to do is to just write an else statement right here and write a nav class list and now you want to remove this active class okay so once we save it and now if i just scroll down a bit so let me just scroll down a bit so here you can see the background color will be changed to white and the text color will be changed to black right here okay so now let me just show you that all right so if i just scroll up so here you can see now the background color will be black and the text color will be white okay so now let me just show you that really quickly so if i just try like uh, console.log and we have this window dot scroll um scroll y okay so once we save this and now let's just open our console right here so here you can see it is now giving us like six right here so if we just scroll through a little bit of bottom and once we hit that point where let me just zoom out a bit it will change its color so we get like two six at right here and which is greater than like 150 right here so it will be the offset of height and now you are just checking that so that's that now let me just remove uh, this console log from here save our file and everything is working the way we expect him to work and you can change the ui you can just play around with this project and now this is yours so now the next thing which i'm going to do is like if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this one and jump right to the next project and if you guys do know about git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so let me just clear my terminal and here i'll just write let me just zoom out a bit first of all i'm just write like get uh status it will be now equal to 0 47 get add everything and now let's just write get commit dash m of sticky nav bar okay so that's that and now finally we have to just write like get push and origin main and now let's just push this onto our github repository all right so now we successfully push our code into our github repository so now let me just refresh that and now here you can see we have this 047 project right here so if you click on that and here you can find all of this code like app.js code and you can find this index.html file and its code right here and you can find this style.css code right here as well if you want to check that out all right so now we are good to go and that was it about this project and i'll see you in the next video bye bye